Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis can strike anyone at any age, bringing on abdominal pain, cramps, diarrhea, and exhaustion. They see Crohn's and Colitis Awareness Month, and the national organization hopes to raise money and awareness for the debilitating disease. What are some of the other kids doing for their science project? Oscar Wood and his mom Vanessa get started on dinner. Is that big enough? On the menu tonight, a salad. Well, I avoid greasy foods. Because that might cause flare-up of his Crohn's disease. Having Crohn's and colitis means that you have inflammation in the intestine. It can involve going to the washroom a lot, a lot of fatigue as well, and missing school and work. A lot of abdominal pain, yes. At school, it's sort of hard for me because my stomach hurts. And like gym, because the going up and down when I'm running hurts my stomach as well. Oscar's symptoms started about two years ago when he was 10. He became very sick at Christmas time and lost about 25 pounds. So for a small child, that's, that's a lot. So we knew something was really wrong. Got a few slices up. Then he sent me for a colonoscopy. And then I got the results that I have Crohn's disease. The family turned to the Victoria chapter of Crohn's and Colitis Canada. It's not until you're touched by something that you become more aware of it. We're starting up monthly discussion groups. So we're inviting anyone who suffers from Crohn's and colitis or has a family or friend that's affected. Uh, we're inviting them to come join us just to talk about, um, talk about a bunch of different topics. We made apple muffins. I think mm -hmm. any parent that has a child that's diagnosed with some sort of chronic illness, you just want to take on what your child is going through. And, you don't want them to have to suffer. What else have they taught you in foods class? On November 25th, the Victoria chapter is holding a fundraiser. It's called Giving for Gifts, and that'll be a three-course meal with entertainment. And last year's Giving for Gifts, we raised close to $30,000. So we're really hoping to achieve that as well this year. Click on the links tab on our website to learn more. This check program is brought to you in part by Victoria Foundation, connecting people who care with causes that matter.